My teachers always say, education is the only way out of the village. It's my ticket to freedom. I hope they are right. Students, I want you to take this exam very seriously because it will count in your final grade at the end of the term. I love school, but I'm always on the road for some reason. Either lack of school fees, parents don't come for a meeting, or like in this case, I'm on my periods and I don't have sanitary pads. It's a long road to freedom. Come in. Matoke, do you know what you did was wrong? Do you know menstruation for girls is a very normal process and nobody should be made to feel embarrassed because of it? As a result of that, she has run away. We don't know if she will come back to school again. That is very wrong of you. Please don't do, don't ever do something like that again. All right? Yes. <laughs> Are you on a dirty plastic? Uncle, I told you I could take me to be in our Takaira Bono, she do him what a cunyo. I give one to now that scar in Jarring Govac. Scarlet tail. Now that you go scarly at your age. You won't go to our make took. No, now that you act twenty years to bed. One of us in the corner. Don't want to be up on Governor Swat. Quite a coin look up and shut down your key, a scarring to what they didn't ask it in Jagan. One of the one get a nature in its time, what I hope on her is tied to what scar. I keep to my tea didn't invite you to come and say to you. Morikokaraki. <laughs> Hmm? I don't know why it's not a school. 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 It's not Tungo Yes, 
Si ma vie, vous ne pouvez pas dire. 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 Vous ne pouvez pas Yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. No, 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 Pourquoi <coughs> Baba Kuanaki, I'm <laughs> Not to get a matem. I think quite a matter of Kondo chega a baba que era aqui. Tia colera a baba e tinha marido. E tinha mamu manon. Tia colera. Tia a enha dan coligueri ou ira noche com a matem. Vai vou levar. Tia colera. Aqui tia colera a baba. Mocogote. Motangue. Baba. Baba mama. Mama a aqui tia colera. Tia a enha dan coligueri. Tato mino na tanga. Nime tenga aqui em gocor. A banco a nanga com a ser educa. Avant <laughs> Two weeks, I didn't have to come in Most of the time, I didn't have to come in at the end. I didn't have to come in at the end. You can't go on. I didn't have to come in. 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 Such a man, I could endeavor. I could walk to the man, such a man, and go in the paracumba. Tarat, eh? I could walk to the water on Combia, such a man. 
Tu Hello, my name is Jaras Kimagendi from A Million Hugs. Hi, my name is Bella Masanya from International Solidarity Foundation. So Bella, I think what uh, stands out for me in this episode is uh, there are three things that are coming out very strongly. Mm -hmm. There's period shame right. and stigma. Right. And there is still on gender-based violence, we are seeing economic violence. And the other thing is um, verbal abuse, which, you know, most of the time translates to emotional uh, abuse. I don't know how these themes come out for you. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, as you've rightly mentioned, I think uh, period, um, shame and period stigma really came out uh, strong at the beginning of uh, this episode. And I want to put you on the spot in terms of period uh, stigma and the shame around it. Uh, because we see this young man that is laughing at her, uh, you know, because he probably doesn't know better or has been socialized to associate uh, periods and uh, menstruation uh, with shame and embarrassment. But at the same time, we see the teacher immediately confronting, you know, uh, the young man and letting him know, you know, these are not things you should laugh about. You know, for all we know, every woman experiences this uh, once every month. So, would you, as Jairus, go to the supermarket or a shop and buy a packet of sanitary towels? Yes, absolutely. And carry them on the road without, you know, wrapping them in like newspapers the way. Tell and bring what. them home. I tell you what, sometimes I even felt like I'm pushing it too hard. I'm I, like, I tell the guy, no, don't wrap it, let me just carry it like that. Because I've always felt like this is not something to be right. ashamed of. Yeah. And a while back, I had uh, a pack in my house, and you know, when my friends came over and we were talking about it, I'm like, this are for emergency in case right. you know, someone comes and then it happens. And they laughed at me for that, and it was. Um, they, they, they meant a couple of unfair jokes mm -hmm. and I felt like we need to move away from that and right. we need to move away from the shame around this, yeah? And even, you know, uh, I, I have seen a Kenyan content creator uh, going online and having a session with, with uh, the daughter and the daughter teaches him on how mm -hmm. to, um, to um, Put a pad like right. a how process. to wear it properly. Yeah. Yes, I think, and I saw a lot of good comments. So I feel like we are progressing away from the shame, but then I think it's not all people who are getting enlightened as as we progress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I totally agree with you. I have to commend you first for doing your bit. Uh, you're trying to break this cycle, which is good. You are living the talk and walking the talk, so kudos to you. I, you are right in the sense that um, do, how many mothers or how many fathers, how many guardians, how many adults out here are teaching and educating uh, boys but also young girls about menstruation? 
um, um, you know, about the realities around it. In fact, I, I, I dare admit that even as an old grown adult woman right now, I still have accidents. You can never be too prepared. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't want to go into the nitty gritties, but um, you cannot still at this point I cannot avoid accidents. That is the reality of the situation. So I would, my, my hope is that uh, if I had an accident today, we can come back to your office and you have the products that I need yeah. or would require in your office. Um, so how many, and then you see, even as we were growing up, myself as a young boy, whenever we had uh, lessons on how, they were called life skills back then, on how to take care of ourselves during our monthly period, they used to call it that time of the month, not really calling it for what it is. Only girls were put aside and educated, and therefore we left the, the boys out who have now grown into, into being young men, who are now our older brothers, our cousins, our husbands, and they do not know how to confront this reality. They still associate it with shame. So I think it's really important what the teacher did in that episode, but also a call to action for teachers in schools, for, for mothers, for fathers, to ensure that as we're teaching our young girls, we're also including the young boys. Amazing. I think um, I just want to also make sure that we are making this a collective responsibility because these are people who are growing up and sometimes they may not understand uh, what it is, but as a grown person, you now um, understand it or see it better. Let's uh, take up the chance to talk to them and let them know that this is a natural process and that something that does not need stigma around it. Still in the right. episode, we see verbal uh, abuse where this father, you know, um, abuses this right. girl. Yeah. When she's come home from school where she has been stigmatized about her period, right. what do you think this does to this girl? Basically makes you want to, 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 to further um, go back into your cocoon, do not express yourself because as we know most people um, associate you know having your period um, um, uh, with you growing into a young woman, trying to discover yourself, your self-esteem, your confidence, just growing yourself and, and breaking out of that shell of being a girl, a, 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 a girl and growing into a young woman. So then what this this does is it basically just I, I would say like makes you go back a few states from where you were and also associate period, uh, periods with uh, shame uh, as an individual because the father says these are things you're coming to tell me are you in your right right minds to come and tell me about periods? These are things you're supposed to deal with your mother, you know, behind closed doors in the bedroom. Do not come 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 and tell me. So then, what does this do to the young girls? It basically lets her know that you do not discuss these things with your father. It's only you know a topic of discussion between you and and your mother. Well, uh, finally, there is um, economic violence where this uh, this man, the bulldozer, now right. is telling the wife that. I shouldn't do everything for you, yet there's huge responsibility for her. And um, she actually points out that there are no jobs. Yeah, and right. he wants her to also be a provider. Yeah, he says, he says, you pay rent in this house. You rely on me for almost everything. Go and get a job. But if you look at the, 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 the mother and the wife, she's still being asked about children. She has to ensure there's food on the table. Still the responsibility of ensuring that this young girl has uh, pads for use during her, her, her period. She has to cook, she has to clean, she has to do everything else. Was she gonna get time to look for a job? That's the big question. Where is she going to get the time? So I, I feel like um, we need these conversations right. more often. Uh, why don't you just go to the comments and uh, share your thoughts and feelings so that we get to interact more? Right. Mm -hmm.